Why is your FPS dropping when you enter smokes or when you're close to Molotovs or just randomly drops for no reason? You might have decent FPS, but what is the point of having yeah. FPS if you keep dying every second because of FPS drops? All the videos you watch show you the same lame steps and it won't work. Well, these steps which I used helped me reduce my war in CSGO. And if you don't watch this full video, you will miss out on the most important thing which I'll be telling you. So, let's get into the video. Now the next thing you want to do is right click this icon click on open sound settings and then once you're here click on sound control panel and then once you're here right click the device on which your sound is currently playing click on properties and then go to the advanced section once you're over here make sure you click on the first one whatever it is click on apply click on ok and yeah now for the next step open up your steam right click your csgo click on properties and then once you're over here make sure you paste this launch option which i've given it in the description so if you get really high fps and really high war in your game and you're not getting the stable fps that you want to get to fix this you want to make sure you calculate the minimum fps you get in your game for example i get a minimum fps of 50 so i'm going to open up my console and then type in fps underscore max 50 it's going to limit my fps to 50 but at the same time my war is going to decrease significantly make sure you do this if you really care more about your war than your frames now the next thing you can do is if you have a really weak pc or laptop and you get fps below 50 and a really high war what you can do is open up your csgo and then go to your video settings and then once you're here make sure you enable your laptop power savings and then disable your multi-core rendering disabling your multi-core rendering doesn't mean that your csgo is gonna run only on one core but it means that your csgo is gonna run on all the cores but at lesser frequencies it's gonna limit your fps to 50 but you get really stable frames and almost no war now if you have a really weak pc or laptop you can also try enabling text streaming as this might give you a little bit of performance boost or fix your FPS drops and if it doesn't work you can always go back and disable it now if you're still experiencing FPS drops in your CSGO what you can do is enable your vertical sync in your game so you can go for double buffered or triple buffered which helps you get much stable frames and less FPS drops now I'll be showing you another cool way in which you can decrease your FPS drops so if you have a high choke in your game meaning that you get more lags in your game and experience more FPS drops to fix high choke open up your game settings and then make sure you set this max acceptable game traffic bandwidth to 4 mbps or unrestricted doing that literally decreased my choke to zero percentage and it fixed my lag issue and fps drops now the other steps to instantly fix your fps drops are disabling all your startup applications setting background apps to disable make sure your windows is updated type and run type in temp and then just basically delete all the files in here and then type and run and type in prefetch and then delete all the files over here and then open up run again and then type in percentage temp percentage and then delete all the files over here now if you managed to watch this video till now congrats because here is a bonus tip i'm going to show you to fix your fps drops and boost your fps at the same time for that click this video right here as it legit helped everybody and you'll regret not being one of them so what are you waiting for go ahead and click this video